Tim, thank you. Uh, we're going to take a break from uh, all the other stuff going on in the news. There's a lot of it. We're going to uh, give you some something good, something positive uh, that involves first responders. And I know you see food. What does that have to do with food? We're going to tell you. Uh, we want to say hello to Dino Redzik, uh, back with a second time uh, from Butcher Brothers Steakhouse over in... Cheshire, Connecticut. Cheshire, and uh, they've been open for three months. And my goodness, based on the, the food that you've brought in here, uh, everything in the restaurant is bold and big, right? Just the way it is in America, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I always laugh when you go to a steakhouse, you know, you're going to get like, you know, those 90 ounce porterhouses. And pick, up, pick up that tomahawk just for a second. We'll get to that. Good Lord. Get, get a shot of this. Get a go. That, that thing, that's the thing that's the size of my head. All right, we're going to talk about salmon first. Uh, we'll get back to the steak. You've got a beautiful salmon here uh, that uh, has a great, easy to do at home dill sauce, and the salmon is easy too, right? Oh, absolutely. You mm -hmm. just have to have an oven big enough. Okay. And by the way, thank you for having me on the show again. I appreciate it to come back with some more tips mm -hmm. and, and what to do or not to do at home. <laughs> uh, the first thing about any fish, mm -hmm. you have to know how to buy. Your purveyor has to be reputable. You look at the fish, it has to, when you touch the body, it has to bounce up. You mm -hmm. look at the eye, it has to be clean and oh. clear. Okay. Otherwise, you're not eating fresh fish. Mm -hmm. The whole fish, that's a, my favorite way of cooking it the most flavor you get out of it from the bones. Right. So obviously you have to have an oven big enough, mm -hmm. you marinate it, you cover it with aluminum foil, mm -hmm. you put it in the oven. The reason I cut this up, because I flavor it with garlic or lemon in this case. That's interesting. And this is all about uh, licorice, so we have some fennel in it, just I wanted that flavor on At it. what point in cooking an entire fish like that do you put the holes in it to, to put oh, the... On a beginning. Oh, so all Once the, okay. you touch it in the oven, I've you done, can... I've seen that with steaks but, and, and chops, but never... never no. with fish. That is interesting. I just have everything marinated. No, no, up, no you marinate, yeah. then you insert, you stuff it with whatever you like to stuff it. Okay. You can stuff it on the inside like I did with licorice. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is it's kind of full. You want, you don't want smelly you, fish. You, you, want, want, that, you want fish, you want fish everywhere. Let's aromatic. talk about your lobster ravioli, which you But you're, today you've cooked up here. and this month is a national pasta day. So how could I come on a show without showing you what national pasta That's day what is? So said. today we cooked you up some <laughs> uh, lobster ravioli uh -huh. with a sun-dried tomato, okay. uh, cream, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely amazing. Look at this. I'm going to, you know, because this has been simmering for a couple of minutes now. What did you throw in there? Besides it's a sun-dried tomato, mm -hmm. uh, shallots, mm -hmm. a touch of cream. Mm -hmm. Salt, pepper, and uh, shavings of Parmesan e cheese. E easy peasy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Makes and, it and, very easy. And you've got a, got a little tip for eggs, which I didn't know either, which is funny. Watch so now, uh, what I often do, or many chefs do, mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, we do... Uh, I, you know, we cook some eggs, mm -hmm. and then you put them whole in the refrigerator, and then you it confuse, and, you don't, and then you don't know so which one is cooked, I, which one is not. I take it, I bang it on my head. If it doesn't go raw, then it's fine. <laughs> well, then, then you, you, know, you got a better tip. You're in a big trouble. Watch this. So, in, if you take, take this camera. knowing it, uh, if you spin the egg that's not cooked, uh -huh. it would wobble because it has the liquid inside. Versus right. if you have the egg that's hard boiled. You spin it and we spin evenly. There you go. So we that, got, that will give you. We got also, you can get to stand. Very. It has a gap in it. There you go. Now you know. You could stand. Talk about. Uh, we got to go, but um, you're doing something great on Saturday, National First Responders Day. You want all the first responders to come in with their families. What are you going to do? Absolutely. Uh, for the First Responders Day, by the way, we want to do a sincere thank you for of everything you do, including unfortunately what happened mm -hmm. today. They are first in line, and uh, that's what they do. Right. What we do in uh, in New York and in Cheshire. Mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday is the first responders day so anyone in their family that mm -hmm. has anybody that was a first responder is welcome to the restaurant they will enjoy a 10% discount excellent on this Friday I will honor all the def departments around the church they're Cheshire all going to come see you and uh, with, with a nice luncheon and chamber of commerce they I, do by the way a fantastic you know job. giving back to the community I always say that's a big important part even uh, of the restaurant Stina Redzik thank you very much nice and don't see forget you. happy yes. hour at Butcher Bros it's the, it's the longest in state of Connecticut it's 11 from 11 to 6 p.m. If you wow. can get it, and everything is half off. Rachel Piscatelli, you know what that means. We're when, going to happy when hour. We're, when we're done with this show. We're going to Cheshire. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and we provide transportation back and forth. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs>